one most important thing is the microbiome. The gut bacteria are so important for immune system, for our brain, and that is why we have to take care of that too, because due to antibiotics, to other drugs, through the diet, the microbiome of people has become a disaster. I'm checking that in all my patients, and I see only 5% have a fairly good microbiome, and it's everywhere the same. Like 100 years ago, you and your fellow people at home would have the same microbiome, adapted to the village or to the city where you lived, and the food you got because it was always the same. So you could adapt and your microbiome could adapt to the environment and food is a part of the environment. So you could have an Indian microbiome, you had a Thai microbiome, you had a South American microbiome and it differed from village to village. And now the whole thing is one mess. That is why we have to take care of that too. It is most important for our lives and that is one little piece which deteriorates the health of people and makes them prone to get cancer. And one of the most important thing in the body is inflammation. There's no survival without inflammation. For example, if you cut yourself, so what happens? You would bleed to death if there wasn't an inflammation and healing, fixing the whole thing, getting all kinds of signaling molecules to fix the whole thing. In the end, if it's not too big, you will see nothing. Huh? So inflammation in general is for our survival. If it becomes chronic, and now we speak about cancer, you can also say cancer is a not healing wound. Because when you have a wound, these cells proliferate until the defect is, is closed and the cancer cell doesn't. It's growing further. And that is the link between inflammation and cancer. You can really say cancer is a not healing inflammation. And the signal molecules, we, we detect them in the metavectum test. We can detect cancer earlier than before. In classical oncology, they would say, once cancer, always cancer. But that is not true. We have also a spontaneous healing of cancer. But that is what we don't see. Because if a cancer is like that and it disappears, nobody would know. But now we can detect cancer when it's in a very, very early stage, what gives us the chance to treat it. But I think you don't have to treat each cancer with aggressive method. Just change the lifestyle get healthy food, healthy microbiome, some of the cancers will disappear. And 100% right now have cancer and don't know it. There's always some cancer cells growing in our bodies and with a healthy immune system that will not grow very much, it will disappear again. And that is one of our main goals to establish a healthy immune system by establish a healthy gut microbiome, by picking out the right food, and if you do that, I think we will not have 30% of cancer in the world.